Hey guys, and welcome to the Game Bros, yo. I'm Scuba, with episode 3 of Dragon Quest Monsters Kobe's Adventure. Um, last time we performed in a circus, um, we got Slime and Ghost, or Casper. Now we are um, going to talk to the king about getting a plug for the log's navel, so that way the house doesn't sink into the ocean. Alright, let's go. Ah, you're the monster tamer from the circus. Good show. So, do you wish something of me? Yes. Do you wish to see our treasures? You're quite sharp to have an eye out for treasures, I must say. Exclamation point. I see. This is what we'll do. I'll help you if you help me. I inherited the throne from my father, who was a great king, but my rule has been beset by one disaster after another. No one listens to my orders now. Will you go find out what concerns my people may have? If I solve their problems, I should regain their trust and respect. Well, will you do this for me? Yes. Then make a way to the town. If you succeed, you can have the title bell for my treasures. Now, the title bell is really cool. Um, spoiler alert. This is a bit of a spoiler. So, um, just skip ahead three seconds. Okay? Spoiler, Tyler, Tidal Bell, it, um, lets you surf, basically. Okay. You back? You back? Yeah. So, we're gonna go talk to everybody. And, um, see what the problem is. Our king has been a fan of circuses. Circle. Oh, our king has been a fan of circuses since he was a child. If there is a circus, he always summons the troop to the castle. The circus master was trying to recruit people at the inn. He says the troops scattered when the thieves set on them. Traveling is much too risky for me. Um, we already talked to all these guys. We don't need to talk to them again. We already talked to her. When I get... No, we already talked to you too. Why are we talking to all these people that we've already talked to? I saw a lake like a mirage in the east of the desert it was, but it disappeared as if by magic. So apparently there's a lake that's disappearing, freaking people out. There's a vase, which we're gonna check. Here's the vase, it was filled with a gooey oil. Ew. Did you want something, honey? A plug for the log's navel? Well, the king likes collecting all sorts of odd things, so he may have something that will work. Our king came into an enormous inheritance. It was mind-boggling. His treasury is overflowing with incredible golden treasures. He is said to be particularly proud of something called Tidal Bell. Not THE Tidal Bell, just Tidal Bell. The king is so frivolous. A circus makes him happy? Please. Uh, oh wait, no. Our king is so frivolous. Yeah. The king has given permission for you to come and go freely. Yes, I'm aware of this, my friend. Why are you snooping around? Are you looking for something? Yes. A new plug for the log's navel. It has to have a magic power. Well, then there's only the king's title bell among his treasures. It can be used across the sea. So there. His majesty is honest and most certainly not evil in any way. But he is rather impetuous. I wish he wouldn't order us on, order us on whim. So we talk to these guys. This is a king's treasury. No one, but no one, no one, but no one is allowed inside. What? See his majesty's treasure? What foolishness! No one gets by me without the king's permission. Oh well, we tried. We tried, guys. We were trying to go sneak in, be a sneaky snake. Okay, so let's talk to these guys. I don't think they're really his people, but whatever. We'll talk to him anyways. Hey, did you see the looks I got when I blew fire? Made me feel good. I wonder if the others are safe. When the thieves raided us, we ran, but while we kept our lives, we were separated from our circus master. He's right here. Several of our members came back. We have enough to put on our shows. Um, yeah. So how was your guys' day? Um, comment below with how your day was. I'm actually quite curious. That fool is a terrible swindler. I wouldn't lend an ear to him. Humph, a mirage lake, he says. No one's seen such a thing. Everything he says is a lie. And yet we can't talk to him, so... Oh, whoa. That's all we want to do. 
Oh well. So I think we've talked to everybody in this city too, which is a very recurring theme in this game, is that you have to talk to everybody. Investigating what concerns my people may have. Oh wait, so apparently I have to go all the way up to the other city too, and talk to all of them. Sigh. Oh well. So we'll just go due north and go talk to um that other city and see what they like. So now we have four people, three people versus this one cactus ball. We'll probably never get hit. It's really interesting. So um yeah. So we have to go up here and go talk to all these peasants for the king. We already talked about we, we have one. Okay. A thieving band runs amok here. It's impossible to get any decent sleep because of their threat. Pardon, a plug for the navel? Sorry, I have no idea what that is. Yeah, we've kind of already talked to all these guys. But we have to talk to them all again. So, that's going to be fun. So we've already talked to them all, so I'm not going to read them again. Even though that was... Well, I probably should have. Oh well, it's too late now. So, uh, we're going to talk to this guy, I think. So we've talked to every everybody in every town. So, I think. I wonder if there's a map. There is a map. How do I see the button? Oh well. Another cactus ball. It's cactus ball attack. Slime took three damage. Slash attack. Okay. So we killed the cactus ball again. We've killed a bunch of them because apparently we're just the cactus ball killers. the ball killers. Um, so I guess we're gonna go talk to the king and see if he's satisfied with our investigation. Investigate. 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 Investigating. I'm trying to think what the word is. I just did, guy. You're being stupid. You're being stupid. Oh well. So I guess we'll just go talk to everybody again. I talk to you, baby. So we're gonna go down here, maybe. Maybe it's in the well. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is totally unprofessional. I don't know what I'm doing. Um. In a second. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go find out what to do after this fight, and I'll meet you back here. Okay? After this fight. I'll meet you back when I figure out what I'm doing. Yay, slime leveled up! Okay guys, I found out what I'm supposed to do. So let's talk to this girl. The well's almost dry. Could the king do anything about it? So yeah. Apparently the well is dry, so we have to go tell the king that they're running out of water. So we'll go talk to the king, tell him, and then we will continue with the story. So, have you discovered what concerns my people may have? Well, the well, what, what, not well, what, the well is running dry. I will order my men to raise the flow of water to the canal. Gods, duke! Anyone? King, the canal managed by the village of Kaliaka. Isn't that right? Send someone to Kaliaka and have the manager open the canal gate. Your Majesty, I must remind you that it was done. The oasis will become drained immediately. Face face. Oh, we just walked into the slime. What? Never mind then. I will go to Kaliaka and check myself. So, as we just heard, the king went to Kalika. So, guess where we're gonna go? If you guess Kalika, you win a prize. 
a good prize, like quality t-shirt prize. Yeah, if you were the first one to, yeah, want to get a t-shirt, dude. I mean, not really, but I mean, I'm sure your parents are, I'm sure you can, I mean, your parents can buy you a t-shirt, I, I hope, I mean, if not, I, I guess I could buy you one. Just tell me your size and I'll go get you one. Because you won it and it was a prize. Okay, see? Here we got a cactus ball. Um, sure. Well, we'll name it. We'll name it. Because it's just, I don't, I don't really like cactus ball. So we'll just name it someone a little, a little close to my heart. Which is a little, a little bit. We'll name it some, one of my little, close, little, little person. That you may know, may may have heard of, you know, JJR. Yeah, you can be a cactus ball that is just gonna have babies. No, you. I don't want to take him with me. He's gonna go back to the farm and become all fat and alone. And so yeah. So now we're going to Kalika, and we're gonna go to the well up here because obviously that's where he's doing the canal. Oh, it's. Life is life is fun. Ooh, excuse me. I'm tired. Fine, I'll go find out myself. Kicks. Walks, walks, walks. Runs, runs, runs. So the king apparently is very rash. He really wants to just be a good king, but just one thing after another keeps on happening and he is getting screwed over. So we're gonna to talk to this guy. My our king has no patience. So, we're going to go follow the king, because the king didn't have any monsters, if you noticed. But, um, and this is the same little, it, they have candles, earthworms, and the other, um, ghosts. I got a pork chop, which is a step up from beef jerky. And then a herb. Okay. So here's a bad candle, um... We actually would not mind having this, because it's a great thing. Yeah, it's, it's really, really good. I think, I think, I'm not positive about that. Yep, you like me, Casper attacks, 4 damage, slam attacks, 2 full damage, slash attacks, that's 7 damage, it's defeated, and it's probably not going to join us, because those are very rare to join. So that sucked. We wasted a beef jerky on something that we're not even going to get. Oh well. So we're just going to spam attack on these giant worms and whatever. Hopefully we won't. We should probably go sleep in an inn soon. That's what we're going to go do. We're just going to leave here real quick right after this and go sleep because we need to go sleep. Okay, so we're going to the end. Hopefully we can make it there. Yes, we did. Okay, so we're going to go rest and heal up for all of our stuff. And yes, that's what we're going to go be doing. Welcome to our inn. It's Tin Golden Knight. Will you stay with us tonight? Yes. And as, you, as you've noticed, you don't get gold for killing monsters. It's, um, gold is very, it's very scarce in this game. I mean, you'll find it on the ground sometimes, but that's about it. In the overworld. So now we should be at full health. See, 39, 22, 24. Ghosts have very low health and very high magic and intelligence. That's why he has 15 mana, whereas none of the other ones have any. So, we kill this mad candle. Then, Casper will be level, will level up. Then, we'll keep on walking down here. We'll go down this way. It's, it's a maze. Oh, look, there's a treasure chest. I got the exit bell, which, exit bells, they are like escape ropes for Pokemon. They allow you to exit whatever dungeon you're in immediately, just by using it. 
so that's that's really good, but we'll not use it until much later in the game, unless we need to. So, uh, level four, Woot. I'm gonna go down here. Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna go down there yet. So, as you see, a lot of this is um, just very Final Fantasy, -y. like getting, seeing monsters, attacking monsters, whatever. So this is the beginning of the game. I can't really strategize yet because I don't have any abilities or anything. So, yeah. But this is going to be a very interesting game. Um, I'd recommend it to you for you guys playing because it is very, very, very fun. Okay, so apparently I have to fight some candles before um, I can go Wow. One shot. We have to fight some candles before we can talk to this little weird thing. So you saw there, Mad Candle used Blaze. Blaze is a fire attack, and it's really... It, it's good, but it's not the best. So what we're going to try to do with this... I'm making a new home for my clan. Leave us be or pay the, pay the price. And it does the spiral of swirls. So this is our first boss fight. Um, I really like the boss fights. Because you can... Oh, not this one. Some of the boss fights, you can actually make them um, join you. Which is really fun. If we get another critical hit like that, you will just... Oh wow, 21 damage. Ow. So basically, since we don't have any abilities yet, we can just fight. We can't really do any magics or anything, because we don't have any. Which kind of sucks. But he doesn't have that much health. I think he has 50. Or, well, he has a lot more than 50. But he doesn't have too, too much. He'll... Oh... Oh, he's using Hyper Beam! Okay, we killed him. Hyper, he's, he was using one of his abilities that um, will destroy everything. Wow, Casper got two levels. Wow, that's pretty nice. I wonder how many slimes I'm going to get then. Two. Okay. God, you're too strong. You win. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. We used to live in Mirage Lake. But we were kicked out by a band of thugs who made it their hideout. I was looking for a place to live. What? So that's the truth? Those wretched scoundrels. I promise I will imprison them. You will? So we can go back to Mirage Lake and live peacefully? Please catch the thieves. Uh, it just disappears. Did you solve the water shortage in town? I humbly thank you for your help. Come see me in the castle. I will have the title bell for you. So if we go this way, you'll notice that we're back to where we were, where we first got Casper. So we're really just gonna, we are probably gonna call it up here. So um, when I get up here to the castle, I will call it a day. So, I don't know, so this is our first little game that we're doing, so it's just really good. I'm really enjoying this, enjoying it, doing it with you guys. Um, so, we're going to go to the castle, and then it's time for me to um, just tell you guys goodbye for the last, for, for today. So... This is Scuba playing Dragon Quest Monsters 2, Kobe's Adventure. Um, this is episode 3. We did a lot. This episode we went down, we fought a boss battle, we figured out what was wrong with the king, and we're going to get the title bell next episode. So, 
we caught Jade Jar, which is a great accomplishment in my opinion. Well, I'll see you guys next episode on Game Bros, yo. See ya.